Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our World of Warcraft classic let's play. We look a little different. <laughs> um, I don't know how it's going to go into the episode. I might put a montage of our escapades in here. Um, but I went into Wailing Caverns. And I was starting to make the episode as normal where no time skips. I was talking to you as ever. Um, but I, my escapade into Wailing Caverns took two and a half hours. And it was a clown fiesta. <laughs> no easy way to put it. So, um, you didn't miss much. Uh, I did not get any good drops. And I completed no quest. <laughs> uh, but we did, we did get two items here. And one of them was... Uh, these three items. We got these bracers, which are amazing. Strength and agility. We also got this chest piece, uh, armor of the Fane, which is okay for a hunter, but I put it on because we also got some really great gloves that were strength and agility, and we get a increase to nature spells and effects up to seven from them. We don't have a whole lot of nature spells and effects, but our serpent sting is nature damage, so I'm assuming it does um, affect that. So I'll try to put in maybe like a little montage or something, um, and if I do that, it is right um, here.
right. That was my escapades into Wailing Caverns. Um, like I said, it was pretty much a clown fiesta. There was a lot of stuff that went on. Um, <laughs> and it, it was fun. So here we are. We're going to continue on with some questing um, out here. I did not get any serpent blooms. Uh, we are going to... Oh, the last thing I, I did is you can also see we've got our new head our new headpiece on. Uh, we got engineering to 100 and we're able to make some some cool goggles. Those goggles are stamina and spirit, so not great for a um, for a hunter, but it's better than nothing and it's better than a, a, a gray item uh, that we would have. Um, we're gonna try again to get this Thunderhorn and along the way we're gonna take on some of these centaurs um, to try to get those quests out of our quest log here. So let's head on down. We trained uh, our level 18 skills and the ones that I chose to train was we got a rank 2 aspect of the hawk. We got a rank 3 serpent sting and then you can also see we now have multi shot which is um, probably not going to get a whole lot of use out of us soloing but in dungeons it's going to be it's going to be fairly nice. Uh, multi shot. All right, and for centaurs, which this looks like a centaur place, and then we'll head this way um, to go find some thunderhorns. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It looks like someone might have cleared this out of centaurs already. Unless this is not a centaur. Oh, here it is. And turn Growl back on. It was off for the dungeon. There we go. Yeah, these are gray, so we're starting to get a little bit beyond these quests, but I still want to do them. Um, if only for not so much the experience anymore, but for the money that we would get out of them. And any rewards that might go because we we don't have the best gear we're getting some good gear because we we got some good drops from whaling caverns um, we didn't get the best drops unfortunately that uh, that shaman got the that cape <laughs> but uh, that's okay I might hop back into whaling caverns um, I, I gotta tell you guys I got really salty during it too I, I was very like just over it <laughs> and I don't know if it was just because it took so long and I wasn't expecting it to take two and a half hours to go through or because of you know all the stuff that was going on in it but I, I at one point in my head I was like I'm not running this dungeon ever again I hate it I hate it here <laughs> so just to give you an update on that uh, we may or may not ever go back to whaling caverns <laughs> As a druid, you get really good uh, gear out of there. So druids would probably run the crap out of that. Um, but my my experience was not a great one uh, at first. And you know, that's a typical, typical WoW classic uh, experience. So I'm not too worried about it. The next group would probably be run smoother um, or be even worse. So... That's just something you deal with in in a in a MMO when you deal with other people. Social aspect of it can get a little little frustrating at times, but also you know rewarding. It's fun. We're gonna uh, gun that would have been nice. Oh, I also put a scope on our uh, our privateer musket. We have that going. Oh, that's a silver vein. We're gonna want to grab that. I hope someone doesn't run in and get that. Oh, does someone get it? 
not on. Oh no, it's still there. Okay. We're gonna try to get this uh, silver vein in here. Send one true scorp to hit it. Not only is the silver gonna help our mining, but it is going to also help our engineering because we can make silver contact out of this. And it's uh, gonna be a fairly good um, engineering experience. So I think we'll get like one or two points out of it. Scorp almost soloed that turtle. I was thinking about getting a turtle uh, as as one of our pets. Two copper veins. And... Get a but uh, Scorp actually did really well in the dungeon, and the reason I say that is he put poison on everyone, and we were we were always uh, pretty much always second on the DPS meter, um, out DPSed only by someone who is four levels higher than us. So I think we're going to stick with Scorp for quite a while. Okay, we need five more bracers. Bracer? Yeah, we did get one. Alright, four more bracers off of centaurs, and we can get them I want to say further down? Maybe not. But, um, let's see if we can find a thunderhorn. Get some of this other stuff, because not only Oh, tin vein. We're gonna want that. <laughs> not only are we wanting to get those quests done, but this one with the Savannah Lion Tusk and Plain Strider Kidneys is just eating up bag space. And the bag space is starting to become a problem. That core stone is going to be nice. Alright, you're getting too close, so I'm going to send in Scorp. See if we can find a thunder horn or thunder lizard around here somewhere. There's one. Maybe he'll drop his horn for us. I thought that was it, but it was the uh, Thunder Lizard tail. Alright, we got another one over here. We'll give a go. Who's that flying around there? A Thunderhawk hatchling. Cool. Music goes. Let's try you. And this one's level 18, so at least we're getting experience somewhere out of it. Horn? 
Oh, another tail. There we go, we got the horn. Okay, we've got that quest done. Um, quillback, or bristleback quill boars. Uh, someone's out here killing stuff, but we need to get a bunch of tusks from them. 60 tusks, and I'm assuming they don't drop one at a time. That would be absolutely ridiculous, even for a while. Poison me. Uh huh. Told you it was starting to be a problem. Oh, we also got this from the dungeon off of the uh, last boss. So we do have something to turn in, and it goes to Ratchet. Um, so we'll be able to turn that in. Oh, and I also made these target dummies. I guess a lot happened off camera <laughs> that we were doing. Um, Scorpio hungry? We'll give you that so we can get the. Bristle board. Okay. I know, I know. We can't care anymore. We got so many quest items in our inventory. These are on level with us too, which is is good. And that one only dropped one. Inventory is full. Really? Uh mm, Man, I hate this. <laughs> I did buy a fish. I got fishing uh Can I get rid of this? Like, is... Is this something I still need? Um... Man. You're gone. We're gonna just pick up the green, because they tend to sell. Sell pretty well. Hate that. <laughs> Poison shot. I know that's what I'm doing to them, too, but I hate it. We'll come back for those because we I, I feel like we're gonna get a ton of drops out of them hmm. um, Let's go down and I think we've got room for one more quest two more quests. Okay, let's go down and uh, See what this is down here You copper Ah, uh, we'll pass it up. <laughs> and look at all the the thunder lizards down this way. We're gonna thread the needle unsuccessfully. Um. Scorp, we're not going to take him on. It's over here. Oh, intact raptor. Oh, high enough raptors are down here that we could get uh, raptor horns and get that one out of our inventory and our quests. <laughs> Trying to navigate through all these. It says there's a quest right up here. Koda Mani. Uh, 
I think Questy is not telling me, or it's a drop off of something. Which is fine. Okay, this is where Mankirk's wife was. Okay, um, well, with all of that going on, maybe it's time to make our way back up this way towards Ratchet. Uh, so we could turn in some quests. Where are the other quests that we need to turn in? I mean, Chen's empty keg is down there too, so we could turn in two quests actually there. Um, are these raptors that drop the horns? They are. I like that little double take that I did. It's, it's like, oh, there's raptors over there that I'm supposed to be looking for. Come on, Scorp, can you, uh, can you do a growl on him? Thank you. Uh, of course. We'll get this one and then we'll head over there towards Ratchet. Another one. Okay, well, we got one horn off of that. It's not bad. So we can definitely see that the drop rates from the first zone to the second zone. Second zone is more typical of what WoW drop rates are, <laughs> basically. It takes a while usually to get quest items off of, off of, um, off of mobs. I wonder if we should, um, I said maybe we could swing around this way, but I actually don't have bag space to pick up the quest item that we need to get in there. So let's head back through here and maybe take on some more centaurs on our way. Because we only need four more bracers. If we could get that one done as well, we could knock a few of these out of our quest log. Unless someone's over here killing everything already. Nope, we still got people alive. Okay. One here too? Yeah, go get that one too. Okay, well, there's one bracer that's really nice. Now we only need three more. Hyenas? Got that off of him. I think that was just cloth that we had missed there. We'll get this guy and his little pet because we've been killed by this little patrol many times now or a patrol like them scorp leveled Alright, so if we got some 
bracers here. Inventory is one. Oops. I only need two more of these. And that's not high enough raptor for the horn. It's like we could get, potentially get some more centaurs over here, but usually there are some here as well. Yeah. Hoping for just two more little bracers. That's all I want. Oops, that, <laughs> that was definitely a misclick. I did not mean to pull everything in this camp. I actually didn't see this guy there, but that's okay. I think we'll still be okay. Actually, this might be a good chance to test out multi-shot. There. I know. All right. One bracer. If this guy's got a bracer on, we are not. Oh, nope. Not that lucky. <laughs> not that lucky. What's this? Ooh, copper and a tin vein somewhere. I see the tin vein. We'll go get that in just a second. Okay. Two. Wow, two of them right next to each other. That's. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Both their spawns just spawned on top of each other. Yeah, I don't- but I don't- I don't want that right now, though. This is a good tin vein, too. I was gonna say, if I get one more hit. Actually, I'm not gonna be able to pick this up. I don't have room for a copper. I can't carry anymore. Yeah, well, figures. <laughs> That's okay. We might have enough gold. Uh, we were, we're almost at two gold. I got some really good. Uh, I was collecting all the grays in the dungeon that no one else wanted. And there's one in particular, the uh, Forked Ton, and they stack to five, but you can sell them for 11 silver. And I had like four stacks by the time <laughs> by the time we were done, because no one else wanted them. They were just collecting like the greens. But the, um, Inventory is full. like those Forked Tons, like those stacks sell for more than like a single item would sell from that dungeon. That's smart. Sometimes I'm smart. Not all the time. But sometimes I make the smart play. I go get them. Okay. Racer? Alright. We... Wrapped up that quest too, so we are good. And that one goes up here. So let's head into Ratchet, turn in some quests. We'll clear out things in our inventory. And we should be good to go. Um, I, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm ready to put the barons behind us. <laughs> um, I, I like this zone. I do like this zone. But I feel like there are... A ton of like open areas and this zone seems really big and with a lot of quests 
which isn't bad. Um, but I like to spice it up every once in a while. And I think we'll get that in future zones. Where I don't think we're going to find another zone quite like this one where it's so big with so many quests to do all in one area. That's kind of, uh, kind of unique. Hello. So I'm trying to think of Westfall. Westfall had a lot of quests, but... They kind of chained instead of, like, get one, turn it in, and then pick up another one next to it. Like, it, they chained off of each other in Westfall. Alright, let's turn this into you. Strength and honor. Storm Stout. Bring five lightning glands, one thunderhawk saliva gland, and one kodo liver. Frog brew. Strength. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if we want to do all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, but I got some stuff to sell you as well. Um, boom. I don't know what these blood shards are used for, so we're going to sell him that too. Have a good one. And then the thing that I picked up in the dungeon, this glowing shard... It said to find someone in Ratchet to talk about it. That's cool, this anchor here. Never really viewed that before. And it shows that they're up here. Is it like you? Why Tell me not? about the glowing shard. Interesting, inter I know of a druid that lives atop the hill above the Wailing Caverns. She might be able to tell you more about the shard you have found. Be really? Good. On top of the Wailing Caverns. Okay. All right, well, let's go do that. Now we've got four that we can turn in. One, two, three, four up there. We might as well head up to this and just see what it is up here at the top. Can I get up here, you think? <laughs> is this a fruit, a fruitless venture to try to get up this mountain? I feel like this is a zebra. Coming over the crest there. Alright, cool. Ah. Well, uh, it's right in our way, you guys. Then I need up my bag space? No, we actually freed up a lot of bag space, so... I know it's already being used. I'm the one using it. Can never have too much copper, you know? Okay. What's out here that intact raptor horns? Really, the raptors down here are high enough level for that? Savannah cups. I guess these are level 17s and stuff. Okay, atop whaling caverns. There's also... Also, this here. Top Whaling Caverns. Is that a body floating in midair? It is. <laughs> Alright. Now, Whaling Caverns was, I th think, on the other s Oh, we're not even close. It's like way over here. It's gonna say on the other side of this mountain. But not even close. Yo. Whoa. Board guard. I never went up there to see what was on top of this, right? Oh, no, we ran in here. We ran into this, uh, this is that mine where I was like, what is this? Still don't know what it's for. It's just a mine. <laughs> mine filled with peons, and they're all marked for, uh, PvP, so... There has to be a quest that takes you in there. You high enough, Raptor? No, you're not. Alright. Straight there. Um. Hmm. 
the baker all the way out here. Interesting. That looks like the crossroads, but if we go this way, we could get on top of Wailing Caverns. Are they talking about like up there where that's spinning? No, that's... Is that Thunder Bluff? I think that's Thunder Bluff. No, it can't be. Where are we? <laughs> that has to be where we're going, is up there. Because Willing Caverns, there's a mountain. This has to be it. Okay. Now, how do we get up there? I think up here? Does that look like a road over here? I'm going to try up this way first. Hmm. I think it might be the other side, but we'll try going up as far as we can here. I think that spinning up there is a windmill uh, for this druid we're looking for. Go as high as we can. Whaling we're on top of Whaling Caverns now. Which... Uh, in all honesty, Wailing Caverns could be a really cool dungeon, um, but there's no map. Like the you have the mini map, but when you're in it and you try to pull up the map, it pulls up this map, and you get so freaking lost in there <laughs> that it's just it's impossible. Like if you if you party wipe or one person wipes and tries to get back to you, it's hard. All right, are you who I need to talk to about this? You are. Oh, I've never seen anything like this. Bring the Nightmare Shard to Hamel Rune Totem on Elder Rise. We'll get a cloth... I mean, might as well get that cloth mantle instead of the gray shoulders. What? Where's Elder Rise? Is that in Thunderbluff? No. Where's Elder Rise? Ogremar? Nightmare... Head to Thunder Bluff. It is in Thunder Bluff. Okay. Interesting. Alright, then we have another quest to turn in. Probably, yeah, right over here. Let's, uh... uh ugh, do a little mountain falling. And head that way. Turn this in. Uh, up here. Okay. Um, Centaur Bracers. I mean, that's a nice bow. That's a nice axe. That would be good for, uh, in one level when we get dual wielding. The bow is not better than the musket we have on. So I'm going to take that axe. Thank you. All right. And uh, with that, guys, I think with the montage and the stuff that we've done, uh, we're pretty good to end the episode here. It might be a little shorter than normal, um, but I don't know how I'm going to do the montage. <laughs> So I want to thank you guys for all your support on this episode. Um, if it seemed a little tired, it's because the two and a half hours in Wailing Caverns uh, really tuckered me out. And I think because I was getting so uh, so grumpy <laughs> during it that I uh, spent a lot of energy trying not to be grumpy. Um, 
so I, I do apologize for that, but I did have fun in it, and afterwards I was like, why were you so grumpy during the whole thing? Um, but guys, I want to thank you so much for your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the World of Warcraft Classic Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.